Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, David, back with another video, and today we are talking about the LG G5. Now, the LG G5 is a 2016 phone from LG. Um, the G6 is already out, so I really can't recommend the G5 to you now. So, let's see why. The G5 does have a really shiny metal back, not plastic, but metal. It's just a primer, so guys, chill out. Um, it does look really great, I think. Now, hardware buttons. This hardware button to separate the top and bottom parts, which gives it the modular part of it, is really hard to use, and I find it rather annoying. Okay, so, let's see. Now, the battery. Again, it's really hard to remove from the bottom half, and I find it rather annoying, again. Um, LG could have thought a bit more about the hardware here. Um, the volume buttons are not the best. They just don't feel very good. They're not tactile. But that's not a big deal, right? Um, it's just a daily annoyance. Now, what you're seeing on the screen is the SIM card remover does not work on the G5. Yeah, it just doesn't work. Again, Detail to little things is missing right now. And then so I had to pull out my tack. Which is, you know, not the best thing to open your phone SIM card tray with. Um, and even with the tack, it was fairly hard actually. It doesn't look like that on camera, but it was actually pretty hard. Now the display is amazing, and you'll see later on. Um, the LCD is dim enough that the always-on display works all the time. The power button button the power button is actually really tactile and clicky. I liked it a lot. Um, this is just seeing the angle. This was not the best shot, but you're going to be able to see the angle, how wide an angle it is because it's L C D. Blacks are not very dark and black like because this is L C D. Um whites again have a weird tint to them that you wouldn't have with OLED or AMOLED. Because this is an LCD one second, so this is just technical technological improvement over LCD from OLED that would be better. Now, right now, I'm setting up my fingerprint reader, so um, I have to put in a password right now. So yeah, let's go over to the fingerprint part. There we go. Now the fingerprint reader setting up was very easy. This is real time, folks, not some sort of sped up version. This is how fast it is in real life, or depending on which phone you're from, how slow it is. I think it's fairly fast. Okay, so the reason it's not working here is because of some sort of software bug. Um, it says, unable to use fingerprint, enter PIN which I was not impressed about. Um, LG software is not the best, just to tell you. But the second time I tried, it worked perfectly. Third time I tried, it also worked perfectly. So the fingerprint sensor itself is really good, but software that accompanies LG phones are not so good. The G6 is L um, LG skin of Android is a lot better though. This is like a video uh, from Dolby Vision and Atmos. I'll just let you look at it now. Um, so this is the front facing camera right here. I think it's really cool. It has beauty mode, which I totally don't need. Funny or not so funny jokes aside, there's a lot of features on the camera. Um, the camera is actually pretty darn good. Um, except for low light, which may be a big problem. Would I recommend the LG G5? Um, not when the G6 is out. I would say buy the G6 instead. Um, last year this was a decent phone. But this year, it's just not going to work out for you. So, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.